Philadelphia, you're a bunch of shitheads for how you made the Royal Rumble last night a very odd pay-per-view to watch. For those of you who don't know, Royal Rumble took place this year in Philadelphia. And the Philadelphia crowd shat all over it as soon as Brian Danielson got eliminated. I'm not the one to defend WWE. Mostly I disagree with half the shit they do. It's the WWE. I tend to go with whatever they're not doing. It's like... Sometimes they do stupid shit. But last night, holy fuck. I'm going to say this flat out. It's like... Last night's Royal Rumble was not that bad of a rumble. It's just that the Philly crowd shat over the entire goddamn thing after Brian Danielson got eliminated. Don't get me wrong, there was not, the Rumble itself wasn't bad whatsoever. I can get it. I understand if the Rumble itself were the shittiest match on the card and everything was horrible from top to bottom. But it wasn't. If you really think about it, if you look at the match itself without the whole jaded version of just wanting Brian Danielson to win, it was not that bad of a card for the Royal Rumble match itself. But again, the Philly crowd just was fucking jaded and just not, you know, not give a fuck. Just because one guy that they love to the extreme, hey, I'm a big, huge Brian Danielson fan myself. I love the guy. I was mad that he got eliminated, but I didn't go far as like fucking to boo every single fucking person that came out after that. Because holy shit, the Philly crowd just would not let go of the whole fact that Danielson was eliminated. Let's not forget, Bray Wyatt was in there beforehand, before Brian Danielson showed up, and he got the hugest pop. He would get pops every once in a while doing whatever he had to do. But as soon as Brian Danielson was gone, everything he did, the crowd just did not give a shit. Because they were so focused on their main guy, Brian Danielson, that was not in the thing, who got eliminated, that they just stopped caring for the entire match. They even fucking booed T.J. Wilson. For kids, if you don't know who T.J. Wilson is, that's Tyson Kidd. T.J. Wilson got fucking booed. Yeah, who else got booed? Like, mostly the faces, all of them got booed the high fuck. Because, like I said, the Philly crowd was just so goddamn jaded. You can feel that they were seriously pissed off. And from what you read later on, they fucking blocked the parking lot just because Brian Danielson got eliminated. Just so uh, the wrestlers couldn't get out and just heckle them. Um, that's harassment, isn't it? That's taking shit to a whole new level, guys. What is this? The 70s where like people just fucking rioted before we knew about storylines in kayfabe? Where the time where we're going back to the time where people actually thought this shit was real, isn't it? We're gonna fucking riot all the time if something that we want doesn't happen. Cause I can understand it happening in the 60s, 70s, because like people, we were dumb back then. I was not even born during that time, but before the internet era, people were fucking retarded. Cause like, goddamn, they didn't know shit. I don't blame them. It, wrestling was treated as like a legitimate sport. Like everything was real. And yeah, you can imagine like the fucking riots that happened back then. Like wrestlers had to like, goddamn, like run out with their lives. And sort of that kind of reminded me of what happened last night when the all the fans just basically hounded the parking lot and would not let anybody out or in. We're in 2015, guys. The primitive age of wrestlers not knowing shit is gone, but who knows? This is the PG era now. Because, like, we're catering to the PG era, PG era crowd now where, like, half the people there don't even know what the fucking Attitude Era was. If you could tell them, like, hey, who's Just Joe? Or the 
Mean Street Posse or the freaking oddities. They won't know who they are. They just know the people of today. And the parents who just watch this shit because it's PG. Because Vince McMahon told them so. But th again, this is Philadelphia. They're a very smart crowd. They're not stupid, but still, like I said, the Philadelphia crowd just ruined the entire goddamn pay-per-view right after Brian Danielson got eliminated. Because you would think someone would, like, get eliminated. You would boo for, like, at least two to five minutes. No, these guys just booed until the fucking event just ended. They just would not let it go. Holy shit. The Philly crowd just took over this pay-per-view. The Philly crowd just didn't want to relax. Oh my God. And like I said before, the pay-per-view itself, the Royal Rumble match, was not that bad to begin with. There was not... At least it wasn't like the... What was that one Rumble where they had Mexican... Super Mexican wrestlers... Who kind of like it was a whole fiasco in there, and nobody knew what the fuck was going on. Now it was kind of a shitty rumble where like there was a fake razor and fake r diesel. That was a shitty r Royal Rumble. Or the ones where the Samoan SWAT team were in. That was shitty too. But this Royal Rumble was not that bad if you think about it from an outside point of view. It's just again, I just have to say. The Philly crowd just shat all over the goddamn thing. Because of one guy. I can understand, you guys. Brian Danielson, he's the fucking man. But come on. We know he had his chance before and like Vince and the powers that be kind of fucked up his uh, title reign. Because he's not like them, what they're looking for. He's not a Randy Orton or a John Cena. And I hate John Cena with a passion, but I'm just telling you, like, he's not a John Cena where, like, the powers that be, mostly Vince McMahon, wants to push that guy to the motherfucking limit. The powers that be see Daniel, Ryan Danielson as this short little dude with a... Regardless of how talented he is, that's not what they care about. They just want asses and seats and the money. But Danny, Brian Danielson had his time. His reign was shitty, but it ended really shitty too because of his injury. But let's not have a repeat of last year's WrestleMania where the fans just wanted him in a triple threat match. Because why would you want... Why would WWE listen to you now? Because, like, what happened last night? Because you basically took over the fucking night show. It's not like Vince or any other person is going to make another triple threat match for WrestleMania just to pander to fans, but I wouldn't be surprised if Vince actually does that, because, like, if he does that, I'll lose so much respect for him. Yes, I kind of have respect for him, because he is Vince McMahon, you know. But seriously, just putting Daniel Bryan, Brian Daniel, you know what, Brian Danielson, I keep on saying his slave name, just to put him in there, just because the fan just shat all over the goddamn thing. And we all knew that Roman Reigns was going to win the goddamn thing. We knew for months. And yet people were still surprised. Come on, guys. We all knew Roman Reigns was the one that was going to win this one. Because they've been building him up for the, like, the last year and a half. Ever since. Or two years. How long has it been since the Shield broke up? Because he was like the main guy. I'm just saying, if you didn't see that coming, how the fuck did you not see that coming? But anyways, that's all I have to say about the whole Philly crowd just being fucking idiots. Well, not being idiots. They're just... Okay, they're being idiots. What do you guys think of the whole situation? Take it easy, Humanoid Nation. Bye.